Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hello and welcome to the very first Ubuntu Cloud screencast. During this screencast, we're going to quickly demonstrate how to launch your very first Ubuntu server in the Amazon EC2 Cloud, and during further screencasts that the Ubuntu Cloud community creates, yes, that means yourself, I hope that we together can cover lots of topics that interest and help newcomers to the Ubuntu Cloud community. All right, let's get started. What you see right here is the, um, is the Amazon EC2 console. Um, you can see uh, any running instances, and you can manage uh, your EC2 um, key pairs and, and volumes and security groups through this console. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to create a key pair. I'm going to click the key pairs tab here. As you can see, I already have a, um, a default key pair. I'm going to create a new one. So we click Create Key Pair. Let's give it a name, for instance, um, Screen Cost 1. And let's click Create. The key pair has been created and downloaded. Next, I'm going to click the security groups. By default, Amazon firewalls your newly created Ubuntu server from being reached, so we need to open at least one port, the ISSH port. So we open the TCP protocol, starting port 22 for SSH, ending port 22, and the source IP address, I'm just going to open it for um, everybody. That is not recommended in a production setup, but for our testing purposes, it should be okay. So let's move back to the EC2 dashboard. Right now, we are ready to launch our own new instance of Ubuntu server. Let's click Community AMIs. The Ubuntu server team creates official Ubuntu server images that are uploaded to Amazon and are listed under the Community AMIs tab. So right now, the browser is retrieving a large list of AMIs, which are Amazon machine images, basically templates that you can start your server from. Once we get the, uh, the list of images, we are going to filter it down and, and zoom in on the Ubuntu server images. Um, there is no real good way for that. Uh, just yet. Um, however, you can. I know a little trick that you can use. You can type Ubuntu dash images slash, and you will get a list of EBS images. EBS are um, uh, are a type of AMIs that are more persistent. So you can you can stop the the virtual server, and it will persist its own settings. Um, so we're going to use that. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to want the uh, 1010 Maverick server. So I'm going to to select that. I'm going to launch a single instance. I'm going to choose a micro type. I'm going to click continue. The wizard is really pretty simple to follow. Um, there is nothing really uh, that we need to change here. Uh, we're not going to assign any tags. Um, we need to choose a key pair, so I'm going to choose the screencast key pair, which is the one we created specifically for this screencast. Configure the firewall. We only have a single security group, the one that we uh, configured to open the SSH port. So we're selecting that and clicking Continue. And that's it. We are ready to launch. Let's click Launch. And right now what's happening is that a virtual server uh, is being created in the Amazon cloud that runs uh, Ubuntu Server Maverick 1010 AMD64 architecture that we have chosen. Once we click Instances, we can see our instance being created uh, at the moment. It is uh, EBS uh, device type uh, or instance type, and it's, uh, it's running on a T1 micro uh, instance. Okay, it's now running. We can see the public DNS name 
for the instance, um, if we scroll down, so the public DNS name should be um, that name, which which is the name that you can use to access the, the virtual server remotely. Flipping to my terminal session, I'm going to move the um, the PEM, the, the secret key that we created and downloaded through the web interface um, to this directory. So it's called screencast1.pem. I'm going to move it to this current directory. And by default, we need to change its permissions to something that's more restricted. And then we, uh, the server has been created and launched. So what we need to do is we need to log into it. So SSH minus I, which, which means use this key file, and then log in as user Ubuntu at the server name, which is uh, we're going to copy it from the browser, paste it. It's connecting right now. Um, it asks uh, whether we trust the key because it's the first time. We're just going to answer yes. And it has um, it has logged into the server um, right now. So that's that's our instance. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's a 600 megabytes of RAM server. Um, you can um, it's the T1 Micro is the smallest uh, EC2 server that you, that you can use. Um, as it stands, you can you can start you know you can start sudo um, apt get update uh, updating your server and installing whatever packages or servers that you want to use basically. Um, um, and once you're done, you would flip to this to this page and you need to right click the instance and click terminate. If you do not terminate the instance, then you keep paying for it. So don't forget to terminate your instance once you're done testing the Ubuntu server in the Amazon cloud. Clicking terminate and confirming, the server basically goes down. You can see it's, it's powering off in the terminal window. I have been disconnected and the server has been destroyed. As you can see, the instance has been terminated. Uh, this is the simplest thing that you can do to start your own uh, Ubuntu server in the Amazon EC2 cloud, to play with it, and then to terminate it once you're done. Um, I hope that was helpful, and I'd like to encourage you to start contributing screencasts to the Ubuntu cloud community. Please feel free to contact me, um, Kimo, let me write that down, at ubuntu.com if you'd like to contribute or if you're interested in anything that relates to Ubuntu in a cloud context. Thank you and goodbye.